Lymphoma is a family of blood cancers, and at its simplest level, you can think about it as a cancer of special white cells called lymphocytes. Lymphocytes come in uh, two major categories, B cells and T cells, and then there's also a third less common category called NK cells. At any point, if these white cells turn into a cancer, we call it lymphoma. Anaplastic large cell lymphoma is a subtype of peripheral T cell lymphomas. This is not a very common disease, uh, and it comes in, a, in two different varieties. One is called ALK positive anaplastic large cell lymphoma, and the other is called ALK negative anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Both types typically affect lymph nodes, but there are some differences, both in terms of the age group of patients who are at risk for it, as well as the overall outcome. In general, people who have ALK-positive anaplastic large cell lymphoma tend to be younger. It's something that can be seen even in pediatric populations, and they tend to respond somewhat better to treatment than those patients who don't have the ALK protein. For ALK-negative anaplastic large cell lymphoma, the average age is over 40, and sometimes the treatment uh, works, and other times the disease may return despite the initial treatment. Anaplastic large cell lymphoma is a non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and as all lymphomas, it's a blood malignancy. And what that means is that our treatment generally involves uh, agents that must travel through the blood, and our standard of care is chemotherapy. CHOP, C-H-O-P, which is cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, vincristine, and prednisone, has been the standard of care for patients with anaplastic large cell lymphoma that is newly diagnosed. Occasionally, a another agent, etoposide, will be added in, particularly for patients under the age of 65. Considering how rare anaplastic large cell lymphoma is, I think it's critically important that patients seek out clinical trials wherever possible. The treatment backbone that we have for anaplastic large cell lymphoma is CHOP, and this was based on studies that, was, that were done several decades ago and primarily in patients with B-cell lymphomas. Although it's an effective treatment, clearly we would like to do better, and participating in a clinical trial is a very important treatment option for patients with anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Patients with anaplastic large cell lymphoma should know that there are resources available. This is not a very common disease, and it's important to recognize that not all treating physicians will have experience with managing this particular lymphoma. I would strongly suggest that patients who have anaplastic large cell lymphoma seek out other resources, and this includes uh, nearby universities uh, or asking their physicians to contact nearby universities and to go to lymphoma.org where there is a wealth of information both on the disease and on managing the disease. I recommend lymphoma.org to essentially all of my patients. I found that it's been an extremely important tool for my patients that provides them support and links not only to information about their disease but to other patients who are living with the disease. The Lymphoma Research Foundation initially helped me gather information, which was extremely helpful. Um, after I had progressed through my treatment, I uh, wanted to give back uh, to the, the um, cancer community, and one of the things I chose to do was to become involved with the Lymphoma Research Foundation. The um, Anaplastic Large Cell Lymphoma mini website is an excellent source of information about ALCL. In fact, it's the only resource of its type that I'm aware of. Um, there are uh, profiles of patients on it. There, there is background on the disease itself, a discussion of treatments. It's, it's really a great resource for people with ALCL.